Hello everybody, welcome to CVG TV. My name is Gregory Parks and this is Conlink. On this episode of Conlink, one of our guests of honor, the person best known for a popular show, Reverend Matt's Monster Science. I bring you Matt Kesson. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. This is very exciting. Ah, it's so cool to have you here. Thank and you. I know you are not new to Convergence. Oh, no, no, no. I've been doing it for quite a number of years. Um, I've had a, uh, I've done my show, Reverend Matt's Monster Science, uh, on the main stage for the last uh, number of years. I was not able to attend last year, but I did several years before that. Um, I usually do a show uh, that is tuned in to whatever the uh, year's theme is, um, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. And, and of course, I do a lot of panels and a lot of other stuff, and it's, it's, a, it's a terrific convention, and I've been doing it for a while, so it's, it's exciting to be back, and especially in this, in this uh, role. Excellent. And yeah, like you're, this time, you're it's, a guest of honor. The honor is all mine. Well, you're going to have a liaison and everything. I and... know. I have no idea what I'm going to do with him, but I'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're going to be in great company among guests of honor. Oh, yes. Enjoyed yes. Here. Yeah, I saw the other ones. It's fantastic. It's very cool. Yeah. So, like, uh, so you being a guest of honor, so you can't answer yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but who would you love to see as a guest of honor? at Convergence. Like, so who would you like to join you and all the others in the pantheon of Convergence Guests of Honor? Well, I mean, um, wow, that's, I mean, there's so many possibilities, aren't there? Uh, <laughs> I mean, the one that, that comes the most to mind, because I know she's doing the circuit a little bit right now, um, especially in the wake of her book, but I'd love to see uh, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Cassandra Peterson, Ooh. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and especially in the wake of, uh, of her autobiography oh, and man. the very exciting you know, revelations that have come from that. And yeah. so that would be, I mean, I've actually met her. I've, I've, I went to a convention in wow. New Jersey about 12 years ago and met her and all that sort of thing, and she was extremely lovely. So it's not even, it's not even pure, I mean, I'd love to meet her again, but it's not even pure selfishness. I've already got a picture with her, but, uh, <laughs> but, but I think she would be a fantastic, a fantastic guest. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind anyway. Oh, yeah. God, that would be so good. Yeah, it would. That would be so good. So and it's amazing. great. She's been at it for so long. She's been really consistent and just... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Not been yet. running a marathon. Yeah, no, it's her 40th anniversary of doing this. And then, uh, and, and then for me, it's just a question of, you know, what I do is, uh, is monster comedy. I do a comedy show about monsters. And, uh, and in a lot of ways, she's the... She's the progenitor of that, you know? I mean, she's, she's an inspiration to me as far as mixing monster material and comedy material. And so, yeah, so she's amazing. So that would be, that would be my, the first thing that comes to mind anyway. That'd be amazing. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of scholarship that goes into your shows, into every one of your shows. Yeah. What was the thing that first got you into cryptozoology and monsters, and then at what point did you decide, I'm going to start doing shows or lectures on monsters I and mean, cryptozoology? Yeah, I mean, what got me into monsters was being a six-year-old, and <laughs> I didn't, you know, and I just never let it go was the only thing. Um, yeah, I can't, I, I mean, I can, I can do, depending on time, um, just real quick, okay. How much time do we have? Can I tell a little story? Or, you can uh, tell a little story. I'll tell a little story. Edit it out if it's no good. Um, <laughs> when I was a kid, there... Okay, so jackalopes. You know what jackalopes are, of yes. course. And jackalopes are... The, the idea is caused by a... Uh, by a thing called the Shope papilloma virus, which is, uh, which is transferred by biting insects, and it causes tumors, which is to say very large warts, on the skin. And, it's, and rabbits get it. And it's, like I say, it's transferred by biting insects. And most of a rabbit is covered in fur, and so it's hard for rabbits to bite them. Or for rabbits, hard for insects to bite them. But a place that is not covered in fur is right between the ears. And so the insects will bite them between the ears, and then they will get these big elongated warts. Huge elongated warts between their ears, and which do which are brown and gnarled and kind of resemble horns. And so this is this is this is the origin of the jackalope idea. And uh, when I was like eight or nine, there was a rabbit with the show papillomavirus on my block. And uh, yeah, and I just spent the summer 
I mean, like, I never saw it, like, scratch at them. It, it, the, the actual virus didn't seem to cause it any problems. Its biggest problem was the enormous juvenile primate that just followed it everywhere, which is to say <laughs> me. Um, and I didn't want to catch it or hurt it or anything. I just wanted to look at it as much as I could. And so I spent the summer just running around after the jackalope. And, uh, and I like to think of that, actually, as sort of my origin story, because that was me, as an impressionable child, having a you know, legendary creature be real um, in front of me. And I think I th I've always thought of that as kind of formative to my, my ongoing obsession with, uh, with unusual creatures and monsters and so forth. So, that, so, that's a, so that's a story. The overriding moral of Reverend Matt's Monster Science is how great all this stuff is. Look at this stuff. This is amazing, <laughs> you know. And, uh, and because, you know, you start to get into it and you just find out all this all this stuff, you know, like, like one, of, one of my ongoing morals is that as much as, I, especially when talking about mythological stuff, is uh, everybody knows about Cerberus and, uh, you know, and the Hydra and that stuff. And in Minnesota, everybody knows about Fenris, you know, everybody mm -hmm. knows about the Norse stuff and all that sort of thing. And, you know, and, and one, one knows why. Um, and then one also knows why nobody knows about any American indigenous monsters or mm -hmm. African monsters or anything like that. And obviously this is for bad reasons that need to be combated in and of themselves, but also they're for another reason. Like, like in, in the Pacific Northwest, there's, there's a creature called either the Wazgo or the Gunakadet, depending on which of, the, which of the various people there. And it is a combination of a wolf and an orca. And there aren't really any surviving stories about it, but who, but, and that's too bad, but still, what do you need? It's a combination of a wolf and an orca. We, this is great. <laughs> um, and, so, uh, and so, apart from just the, just the justice level of, uh, of not hearing about you know, non-European monsters, there's just all this wonderful stuff that is, that is uh, that is neglected, and certainly in you know even in the history of film or anything like that, there's there's all of these weird little 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 moments that I get to find out about and tell people about that are amazing. So uh, so yeah, it's it's just such a labor of love, and the research part of any show is one of my favorite parts because you just find out all this amazing stuff. And so yeah, yeah, it's great. So as you said, you've been to many convergences, and mm -hmm. as a last question, yes. I would like to say or I would like to ask, what. Do you look forward to each convergence? What brings you back? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Um, I mean, I mean, I love doing my show. It's it's a great place to do my show. Certainly, I always I always get to meet a bunch of people who uh, who I always get to put it in front of a bunch of people and people are, and it's just a beautiful welcoming convention for my show and I'm so happy about that. Um, I I uh, I always find something great in the dealer room every uh, every year. That's terrific. And at least once every year, usually two or three times over the course of the weekend. I do just a cosplay tour, just just going around the convention, taking pictures with all my favorite cosplay, and uh, and so that's uh, that's 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 always a highlight for me. I love I love the stuff. I particularly love the stuff where, uh, and and you know, and it's a big thing in cosplay. People do wonderful. All of, I have nothing bad to say about cosplay, but my own particular favorite stuff is uh, is the stuff where where they've kind of invented something out of various materials, you know? Mm. I mean, I, 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 like, I, I think one of my favorites that I ever saw was, uh, and I've got a picture with it, was, was a guy who was Daft Punk Imperial Scout Trooper, so it was the, so it was yeah. the, whole, it was the whole Daft Punk thing, and then a silver, silver Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper uh, awesome. mask, and that was, that was amazing, so that was one of my favorites. So yeah, and there's the guy who was, I don't, I don't know if he's been there a, a couple of years ago, there was the dude in like the eight foot tall cardboard robot suit that played music, and I just, <laughs> I just, I love that stuff, so that's, so that's great, and I just love, I just love hanging out with everybody, and it's just this great pop, you know, I do the, I do the, I do the, the party room crawl, you know, mm -hmm. on Friday and Saturday night, and I see other parents. You know, it's just such a, it's such a, such a delightful, delightful gathering together and seeing what people have and enjoying people's enthusiasm. There's a reason why it's called Geek Prom. Yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> yes quite so. Well, thank you for joining us here on the couch. It's been a pleasure to have you, it's and we look to forward here. to seeing the wonders that you will bring to us at Convergence this year. Thanks so much. I'm honored to be here. Um, I hope to see you all there. Thanks very much. Beautiful. And thank you for joining us here at ConLink. I'm Gregory Parks. We will see you on the next episode.